Well, listen, this week we have taken on a 500 Rand food budget challenge where we bought a few agreed ingredients and challenged ourselves to make five meals to feed a family of four. Now, our first stop was Woolworths to shop their daily difference, and the total of our ingredients came to 495 Rand, which means we still had five Rand to <laughs> spare. Now, we really love, we've been loving what everyone's responses have been to this challenge. So, for our next recipe, which is number three out of the five, we are making use of the gem squash that we bought in the 90 Rand vegetable combo that also included some onions. We're going to be using our soup veggie mix that we bought, as well as a tin of tomato. And this was all part of that big grocery shop we did yeah. that came to 495 Rand. I, I, I can't believe we actually doing this. Like, it's I know working. It. We really hit the mark. I had my doubts from day one. I know some people spend five rand or more on one meal alone, so this is absolutely incredible. It just shows you it is possible. I mean, yeah. life's getting expensive. You just need to be a little bit more creative, shop the specials yes. that's available, and really get going. Of course, you have your own pantry staples. Yeah. So we have the olive oil from this, that, but we're using the onions that came part of that veggie combo. Ooh, nice. okay. I'm just gonna let that sweat out a little bit. Yeah. And what is amazing is we are using our soup mix, not for the soup, but to rather make it a bit of a veggie stew. Yes. And what is incredible is, I mean, it's got lentils as well as barley, so that means it will cook a little bit longer just to soften up. Yeah. But that lentil and barley will really add volume, volume to our meal flavor. and will keep and you fuller yeah. for longer. And also there's some great nutritional value in there. I'm always one to get excited about good ingredients and especially when it comes to barley, number one, it is a great uh, source of high fiber, right? So that's going to be really great for the body. It's a good substance meal, so it's giving you a good carb. And on top of that, the lentils are also great. High in fiber, high in potassium, it's got fat, it's got protein as well. So mm -hmm. it's a great vegan source of protein coming from our plants uh, and from nature. And it's also going to provide good flavor, like Zoe says, and adds substance to this meal. So you're ticking the boxes as well when it comes to health because we've got protein, fat and carbs in here. So yes, please bring this on. It's not just budget friendly, but it's nutritionally it's good for you. flavorful. Yeah. So I'm adding some spices. We're playing around with cumin, coriander, as well as a little bit of chili. Nice. And then we're going to add our tin tomato. And of course, if you really want to make it spicy, um, you know, you can add more chili. You um, can play around with I was going to say, Chef Tim was here right profile. now. We definitely say add more chili. And add I think for chili. winter months, a lot of South Africans love that extra little warmth that it provides you. And this is a warm, hearty meal that the whole family can enjoy. This is one that the whole family can enjoy. And then we're going to just top it up with a little bit of water. Now, to get the most out of our can, I actually would do this, like get a little ah, bit of water, smart, yeah. give it a bit of a rinse and get everything out <laughs> of the can. I do that when I have like protein in my shaker. Don't waste the protein and that's actually a smart tip. I'm gonna do that with most of my canned stuff now, especially if it does need a little extra rinse. Waste not, want not. Now, uh, is that kind of uh, you done there? We're gonna let it stew. I'm gonna actually add a little bit more water. I feel like it needs a little bit more. Nice. And we're gonna let that just slowly cook on a very low heat for about half an hour because we want the lentils ah, and the barley to be soft. And then I would imagine that the water will reduce in the process too it and give will. you a nice... So I would pop the lid on and then every now and then just check on it. You might need to top it up with yeah. a little bit more water as you go along, but you really want it to cook and we're gonna warm that up it's, a little it's, bit. It's giving me like, like stew feels, stew vibes, and I'm here for that so much. So moving over to my side, very simple, very easy. Now there's a debate on how you want to prepare your gem squash. Sometimes you can cut it in half before, which we've done now. Reason being is because if you prepare it or boil it in water uh, it, when it's whole, it's apparently harder to cut through, right? Right. Actually, I've tried that before. Yeah? It, what happens? It, it explodes. So you, oh, you, you okay. want to oh, cut yes, it open before you put it in the hot water. Okay. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I think that. the debate also comes through is it's like to take the, the pips out before, before you boil or it or after. Yeah. So here's, here's my theory, and I know you're probably going to uh, have something else to say against this, but I would imagine, here's the cool thing, take it out before. Why? Because what you can do is plant it in your garden. Ah. or create a little veg garden or something cool. So again, we're not wasting and we're providing an extra potential for regrowth and maybe we get some gem squashes at the end of the season, right? That but again, great. when it comes to cooking, you can keep the flavor in there, boil it with the seeds or, yeah, the seeds or the insides and take it out. But I'm gonna take it out right now uh, just for uh, ease of use and like I'm showing you right now, it's nice and simple. I'm just using a spoon for this and voila, we pop it into a little side tray over there and that can be planted. Or you could even take these and roast these and char them later on if you are really into that. Uh, but once we've 
obviously opened it, this up. You can place it into boiling water for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then we move over back to your beautiful concoction that you've put together there mm. because that so all goes inside. This yeah. is still cooking. We're going to give it a little bit of more, more time to reduce. So what we'll do is once we've placed your gem squash, I can pop that in the water for you. Oh, thank you very much. You can pop it into the water, let it boil. Um, we're going to allow that to just cook through. If you have some leftover cheese in your fridge, of course, that wasn't part of our grocery yeah. shop, but that could be a staple in your house. Oh, like you can roast also, it afterwards. You can just Ooh. add a little bit of cheese and pop it into the <laughs> oven. But we will come back and complete this dish so that you can see exactly what our stuffed gem squash will look like with our yummy um, little vegetable stew that yeah. we are cooking up. But oh, and it smells so good. It does smell good. <laughs> and I'm excited to show you this. And you have two more days to stand a chance of winning one of five Woolworths vouchers valued at 500 Rand. Simply head on over to Expresso's competition post on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and answer the following question. If you only had 500 Rand to make five meals for a family of four, what would you make? Include that hashtag 500 Rand challenge in your answer. The competition will close on the 19th of May, so you have a few days to enter. There are some T's, T's and C's that do apply. And all I'm going to say to you is good luck. Don't worry, we will come back and show you what our final stuffed gem squash will look like. <laughs> it's my feel good birthday show. Well, we are back in the kitchen and the possibilities feel endless mm. this week with our 500 Rand Grocery Budget Challenge. And we are here to show you yet another delicious and hearty dish that is guaranteed to be a crowd pleaser. Now, this next recipe, it's going to hero the chicken and the sweet potatoes that we bought from the veg combo deal. Mm. We're going to be making a classic chicken stew served with roasted sweet potatoes. And before we get into this recipe, I just wanted to show you you the the budget friendly meal we made earlier mm. was our um, gem squash with that tomatoey chicken um, in fact the soup stew mm. a veggie pack that we got Beautiful. and that is what it looks like and I mean that's gonna be filling oh it is so nutritious as well the textural elements but the amazing amount of flavors that you were able to combine in such a simple dish and find that nutrient balance absolutely beautiful